That's an act report. It feels good. Guidance is internal. Ignition sequence start. Lift off. We have a lift off. Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a beautiful 1981 Chevrolet Corvette. It has 8,400 original miles. It is a true survivor, original tires, NCRS winner. So it had the four star bow tie award, which is one of the most prestigious awards for NCRS. And it scored 98.6 points at a regional event. We're gonna give you all the documentation, this much, every single thing you could think of in regards to literature, that's all going with this car. We're gonna be auctioning this off on Bring a Trailer, which is an auction site. That's why there's no price listed on our site. Once it goes live, there's gonna be a link right there. You can click on it, live in auction, and you guys can bid to win. We've got the reserve set properly, so it's gonna to go to a new home. Let's take a complete walk around. If you guys wanna see underside shots, you can go to our gallery or look at the link below, and you'll see a whole entire array of photos along with all the documentation history. After we do the walk around, we're going to jump in it and take it for a test drive. And if you have any further questions, give us a call at 954-363-2261. Also, if you like this content, please be sure to like and subscribe right below. So this is powered by the matching number ZDD motor. So it's 190 horsepower. I'm going to start off with the power plant first today. Paint is all original and I do have all the paperwork since day one. You can see the correct chrome air cleaner, all the stickers are proper, and all the clamps are correct as well. Air condition works, it still has a smog pump in place. Um, you can see all the stickers for your catalyst. Alternator is proper, and this thing actually runs and drives great, which is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take it for a short spin around Ravenswood and let you guys decide if this is the right car for you. When you close the Corvette hood, you always want to drop from the center so it latches properly, or you could push it from each individual side. Paint shows very well for being original. There are a couple of minor imperfections in regards to how it was when it was factory. So there are blot, there is blotch, a blotchy spot right here. So there's a blotchy spot right here. And then uh, where else was it that you saw? Right on the lower edge over there. All the fiberglass is great. There's no spider cracking on the paint and it is all original. All of your glass is in excellent condition because it has 8,400 miles. All the chrome is show quality and when you open up the door and close it, it's a nice seal. Let's go over the passenger side since we're over here. Oh, another, well, I guess he just wants to go and get all the imperfections now. Come over here. Okay, so here's the passenger side. All the gaps are even and they look great. Uh, wheels and tires are in excellent shape, and those are the original tires. When you look us up, I want you to see how transparent we are. We're going above and beyond in regards to listing these vehicles. We're going to go over imperfections and give you guys a real world feel on how it drives. When I do this test drive, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm feeling. I'm not going to just try to pump it up and sell it. I want you guys to keep coming back and bidding or coming back for the future to, for us to buy a car from you, etc. Interior is camel, and that's proper. That's all original, it's leather, shows very well. Seats do fold down nicely, and all the carpet is in great shape. When you look at the headliner, you're gonna see that it has like a vinyl uh, vinyl top on it. All these T-tops come off. I have the original bag, or the, the bags that came with it to store it. it does have a tender connect. Uh, you can see that the center console is in great shape along with the steering wheel. Carpet is original, there's no foul odors. Glove box is nice. Put your eight tracks in there. Door cards are in excellent condition. You do have a little pocket here that still has elasticity. What is this, your lock? Yeah. So here's your door lock and it works. All your mechanisms are working properly. And you can see that nothing has ever been taken apart. It still has the original uh, seals. 
So when you press down on it, you're gonna see that it has like a little bit of a wrinkle effect and that's how you can tell they're original. Also, it's documented. You do have a car cover that comes with this one. All of your plastics for the front and rear, because obviously this is fiberglass, are doing great for the age. Uh, you're gonna see a little bit of a discoloration because of the age of the plastics. They're all soft still. Your Corvette badge is nice. All of your taillights are in great shape and those exhaust tips are just perfect. Fuel cap is proper. You still have the original sticker here for unleaded fuel only. Smells good, good fuel in there. Original gas. Yeah, it's got original gas. No, it's, uh, it has fresh fuel in it. <laughs> All the top section is very nice. All of your trim is extremely nice. You can see it still has the correct finish. There's your NCRS badge, so it did score. 98.6 at a regional event, and we will give you all the judging sheets and all documentation since day one. You can see the poly steel radial tires right there if you back up a little bit, and the wheels have been polished to perfection. Windows go up and down with ease, and when we take it for a spin, I'll give you more of an in-depth review of the interior. While we're here, I'll start it up. We're gonna jump in it and take it for a ride. Explosion. Oh man, it's nice in here. Does it have a tilt wheel? Oh, it does. What is this? I'm trying to, I think it has a tilt wheel. Oh yeah. That's nice. Telescoping. Telescope. We're inside right now, turning the air condition on, and it is cold. It's actually very, very cold. All of your settings are working. Feel it? It's nice. You do have a telescoping wheel, so you can adjust it. The steering wheel is really nice and soft. Uh, you've got your little visors here. Your interior lights are working as they should. You've got great oil pressure, so we have 40 pounds of cold right now. Uh, gr great voltage, uh, the temperature is starting to rise here. Uh, oil temperature is still cold. You have cruise control, uh, power windows which operate. Emergency brake is holding it in place. And all the screws are just Perfect. Normally they're a little bit corroded from, you know, being in the elements. T-tops come off easy, so you just pull these latches and you can pull it off, but we're going to leave them on for today. Shifter boot is very nice. Ashtray obviously has never been used. And then let's see if the radio... So the radio does work. Oh, and the power, the power antenna is working. And it goes back down. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on and we're gonna take it for a spin around Ravenswood. Feels good. So 84.67 for mileage, that's definitely true. We're gonna test out the cruise control once we get around this block. We don't wanna to put too many miles on it today, so we're just gonna get a simple drive around and then some outside for your pleasure. Not, there's no funny sounds other than the cushions that you're going to hear. Let's see. Turn signals work. The tires don't feel like they have any flat spots. Brakes are even. You drove it more than I did to take the pictures. How'd it feel? Felt great. Yeah, good. Yeah, we're going over some bumps right now. Suspension feels good. You're gonna hear the T-tops rattle, that's common. Let's wait for these guys to pass because this road's dirty. Transmission shifts fine. It's not slipping. Oh, 
probably need to put it in three, huh? <laughs> We'll go to our test. How much gas do we have? Yeah, we're good. We're gonna turn left here and we'll give it a little bit of gas just so you can see how it feels. No ticking from the exhaust. And that's to 45 miles an hour. Let's see if the cruise control works. I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to do this. I'll try it again. I, mean, I think we need to go more than 35 miles an hour, huh? All right, let's get, let's get her up to 100. We're turning left here. Headlights work as they should, so you can open them up and they're, you're going to see them pop up. They go down easy. Let's we'll see if the cruise control is working. Cruise control is working. That's awesome. Turn it off. We're going to turn right here and do it a little bit different today. Normally we go to this close course, but I think I'd like to see a little bit of grass behind this beautiful car. So I'm going to drop you off over here and we'll get some outside shots of me just driving up and down. Everything seems to work in it. Horn works. Brakes are great. It's a nice one. If you have any questions, give us a call at 954-363-2261. We're going to get some outside shots and let you decide. Thank you. enjoyed that test drive I really appreciate you watching it give us a like and subscribe <laughs>